Hello everyone. Today uh, I want to talk about the word. What is the word? Word is nothing but the Bible, right? As we all know. So uh, what does the word do and how does it affect us or how does it affect us is what we're going to see today. And uh, uh, John 1, 1 says, um, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So what it means that when God actually created the world, he spoke. And what was that? It was word. So and then when he spoke to the disciples, uh, what was that? It was word. And the disciples put it in the form of uh, a compilation of books from listening to God to, by through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And so the Bible came into existence. So. Everywhere God spoke, uh, without having himself be seen, uh, it was called the Word. But who, what is the Word? The Word is God, and God is the Word. Because uh, John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So uh, today, and uh, let's see, uh, actually let's see, what the word actually brings us when we read the word you know it's very important to read the word or the bible because it brings us many things and i have kind of like 35 points here i'm going to just read and 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 tell you what the word does what the word does uh, physically emotionally mentally spiritually and financially <clears throat> what does it bring to us so let's dive into it now the word brings salvation so what does it do when you read the bible it brings salvation that means you get saved by the blood of jesus you get saved by the word of christ you get saved by believing in jesus that he is god and there's no other way to get to heaven except through salvation except i mean sorry except through jesus which will bring you salvation the second point is the word brings deliverance and through that you get deli delivered from all the sins and the snares and the foul things that a person thinks does you know it's that and the third is word brings exhortation that means it brings you to light it brings you to know things it brings you to a higher level of thinking word brings redemption word and and there are 35 points so i'm going to go really quick um, <clears throat> word brings forgiveness word brings repentance word brings humility and how do we you know humility is a, actually a verb how does how does humility happen it happens when we read the word we know that when we read the word it actually corrects us it tells us where we are going wrong and if we and when we go wrong how is it that you need to correct yourselves so that is what it says then word brings light Word drives out darkness. Word causes us to worship. Word brings self-control. Uh, and this is important because self-control, you know, normally a person cannot do anything. But when they are in the word, they know, they know how to self do a self-control. That is, when they feel like going and attacking someone, they will not do that because the word says that it is a sin. It is unlawfulness for you to go and attack someone when they, when it is, whether it's needed or not, you should not go and attack anyone. So when you do that, and that means if you're not in the word, you do that. But if you're in the word, then you would get reminded of many, many, many verses in the Bible, which says that you cannot go and attack a person or self-control is falling into sin, falling into lust, falling into um, relationship with other married women or falling into relationship with other or having sex outside marriage you know so all these things come under self-control these these are um, the mind issues and there are the heart issues so the word says where your heart where your you know heart is you know the, and there your mind is also so people sin and and when if you know the word 
the word will actually bring you out from that so uh, where are we yeah uh, word brings self control word causes us to worship word keeps us from sin word admonishes us that means it teaches us word divides the truth from false that means you know whatever is wrong or whatever we think is right is most most of the time wrong so when we read the word it actually guides guides us into the right path it takes you into the it takes you to think that what you're doing is wrong or what you're saying is wrong or what your motives and intentions are wrong but at the same time it will also divide the truth from false so another thing in this also which is very important is when people gossip about someone and you believe it you believe it because you are uh, not saturated in the word you believe it because you are um thinking power or the discernment power you don't have why because you don't have the word you're not reading the word see bible is like an instruction manual you know when you buy a new thing like when you buy a new laptop or a fan or any other gadget you they immediately send you with the instruction manual right so you open that you read the instructions and then you know how to operate it so it's the same thing <coughs> without the word without the bible no one can live a life acceptable to god and holiness and righteousness okay and the other one is word manifest and it's a very big thing i like this a lot because whatever the word says it will manifest it says in the bible that means it doesn't fall to the ground it doesn't fall to the air it doesn't fall on the thorns we also had a parable from jesus where he says the word is like it's he uh, gives it in the form of a sower he gives it in the form of a farmer who throws the seeds and those seeds if they fall on the thorn on the thorns uh they are waste and they th- he, and he throws it on the and if they fall on the stone it's a waste but they fall to the right ground then it produces fertile ground uh, fertile plants and good and and uh, uh, and crops and we and it yields so word is like that word whatever is written in the bible it is yes and amen all the promises are yes and amen and whatever you know um it's it uh, whatever the word says it will manifest because see god is not a liar he doesn't say things out of bloom he doesn't say things just because he's happy or just because he's angry no he does he says it in the lawful manner see many brilliant books have been written in science and technology in law in business and all those things but and and those books also have facts and factual information they don't blabber anything as it comes they don't write anything uh, stupid for people to think what kind of thing is this so just like that word holds more accountable the bible holds more, it the bible is more accountable in uh, manifesting the word in giving out the word which is accurate uh, more than 100% and um, and then word produces so what it manifests it produces also it's not like it uh, god has spoken something and so it stays in the bible no it does take action outside the bible too where with ev- where everywhere with whom with people so uh, people are good they're going to produce good results for which it uh, the word you know comes into effect if people are bad then they're going to produce bad results which has been again spoken in the word in the bible the next point is word demands us to do the right things see again taking us into the right path word guides you know it's like thy word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path it says in the bible word heals you know um the lot of times when uh uh oh yeah Uh, this i have to tell when sometimes you know when i was sick or when someone was sick i just like lifted up uh, the person's name and their ailment and then i prayed for them saying that so speaking the word for example i uh, have a friend in the us and um, he had cancer and so uh, when i heard about 
that i felt very very bad but then my in uh, but then i said no i have to you know read you know i of course i prayed with him on the phone i i uh, you know uh, uh, read some verses had him like confess about the things and all that but when i went into the word there were many many uh, uh, verses which says that god heals you know and uh, and one of them is he's he's a he heals and and he's also he um uh saves you uh from destruction from getting the body destroyed so there are many verses which says you know that god will heal you god will um uh what is that that he will i think i've written somewhere here um i hope i can find it because yeah it says like you know uh with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation and then you know it also says that i am the healer you know and uh, and healing and god's will is for healing it's in first corinthians 4:17 the one that i read a little before it was psalm 91:16 and uh, first corinthians 4:17 which says god's will is for healing and it's a redemptive and it's his redemptive plan we are a combination of heaven and nature spirit man matter so i mean you know why why is god in the process of healing in the will of his healing because he uh, died on the cross for our sin shame and um uh for the uh and for the sicknesses so it says in the bible right so that is what it is so god's will is for healing so he heals us and he and th- that is his will i believe that means he will definitely heal us when we pray and uh then there's one more i want to say yeah then matthew 424 everyone who came to jesus were healed so uh that jesus you know so the word is nothing but god god is in his holy temple god is the word we have seen that so it god also heals the other one is god performs signs and wonders and miracles and supernatural things why uh, uh not why but he performs signs and wonders how we have seen from the time heaven was created we have seen how he created the heavens and the earth and how he created the wildlife and how he created man how he created the living things from the and and the non living things how he created sun moon stars and uh, all those things and not only that that was when he was god when he came on the earth as jesus you know as god the son uh he started healing many people who were demon possessed who were lame who couldn't hear who were deaf mute blind and demon possessed and everyone and had any kind of sickness and ailment and all that so that was one miracles and supernatural things that he did and also you know how this whole universe functions that those are all very supernatural things because you know they might be astronauts and astronomers who are uh, looking at the skies and the stars are trying to find out how exactly this whole thing is being done and all that with all the research and all that but yet they cannot comprehend get their results from like thou almost from like hundreds of years have not come to a conclusion how a star works or how galaxy all all that is like held up in the sky you know that's a very big supernatural thing and even uh, david says i'm reminded of david uh, saying we are very wonderfully and intricately and beautifully made by god that's very true because some of the things that how you know are placed in our organ are in our body all those organs are perfectly balanced you know the heart is not on the the heart is not at the bottom of the stomach or the stomach is not below the neck nothing of that sort you know god has placed it in such a great alignment that if you see that you breathe from your nose and if you have to excrete you excrete from down below you know it's not somewhere on the head so he has if you think of it folks god has done a beautiful beautiful uh um 
like a supernatural thing like not it is a supernatural but a beautiful intricate work of his hand of his hands of his word of his existence you know he showed people and he proved that he exists and that is why we are made like that because no scientist in the world has ever explained any of these natural things that god made you know uh, fully so let's move on uh, and the other one is yeah uh, and the word produces the fruits of the holy spirit what is the fruit of the holy spirit if you read the word then you have holy spirit if you have holy spirit then the you produce those fruits what are those fruits those are love joy peace patience kindness gentleness all those things so you will exercise those things when you have the fruits of the holy spirit that means when you read the word you can have holy spirit you know it's not it's uh, sometimes like i've heard that everyone has holy spirit but you know yes but the holy spirit functions in such a way that you have to invite him you have to retain him you have to have him like be with you you know just like how your parents uh you know give you gifts just like how your parents you know are are supporting you giving you food giving you lands giving you this giving so you know just like how the parents give you lands and and give you all those you know good things and all that so it's like um it's that uh and that's what the word does too okay and then it the, the 21st point was the word uh produces the fruits of the holy spirit now sec 22nd is word produces the nine gifts of the holy spirit what are the nine gifts of the holy spirit they are um word of wisdom word of knowledge faith gifts of healing prophecy miracles discerning spirits tongues and interpretation of tongues so that is in on another higher level uh, uh, level like if you read the word every day you know and be in the word then that is what and and if you you know if anyone aspires to want these gifts then they can ask and god can give that and word brings holiness and righteousness word brings justice to the caring to the right people okay so and uh, you know why because there are many verses in the bible like how even uh, not just verses but all of most of uh, the psalms of david he uh, even though he was a king even though he was very successful in defeating the enemies and yet the enemies like overpowered him all the time like they came and attacked him all the time so he cries out to god and some battles that he didn't want to go he asked the lord whether he should go or not and bad, and god said no no stay back and i will show them and give you victory so uh God knows who to give justice to. If people do the right thing, then God knows how to do justice for them. If they do the wrong thing, then he knows how to punish the wicked. So there that that is also there in the word and that word says that God gives justice. He produces justice. Then uh then the word also brings vengeance on the wicked people and on the unjust why because it's like speaking it's like god speaking because when we say lord uh, there are there are many verses in the bible which says that when your rivalries when your enemies when the wicked are trying to advance against you you know speak my word speak my word and then you will see deliverance and then you will see the victory over your life so many battles the there's a nice saying which uh, i think i have put it on my blog and uh, the page zayn shakaina uh, which says uh, you know battles uh, prayers uh, no how it goes like uh, mm prayers on uh, the knees bring uh, victories and uh, or uh, and then the word yeah so you know it brings it brings uh, um vengeance on the wicked like you know 
no one can fool a God. If you're going before God and you're asking for mercy, justice and all that, he sees why you're asking and if you're even eligible for it, only then he gives you that. But if you, you know, someone is doing something wrong to you and you go and ask him for that, uh, to say whatever you want to say about that, even before you say it, God knows how to do and what to do with each person. So that is what it is. But on the other hand, um, you know, you're not right. And you want to go and ask people, God to punish people, he's not going to do it. He's never going to do it because he's not a God who functions. He, he, is, he is not a human and he, is not, he doesn't function in the way we want him to function. So, and then word creates. What does word create? You know, there are supernatural things like, for example, uh, at church, you know, when a prophet came, I uh, um, received gold on my hands, you know, the, and he was speaking the word. And, you know, some believe it, some don't. It was like a gold dust. But, you know, word definitely creates because I have seen with my eyes that people who had shorter limbs became longer limbs, got longer limbs, like e the limbs, the legs were equal. People who didn't have hands, you know, they got back hands. People who couldn't see have got. So word creates. It has the power to create anything which is dead in one's life and then word gives faith and hope uh, then word connects us to trinity the triune god or the god the father god the son and the god the holy spirit then word uh, shows as the supernatural so we've seen that and word glorifies god see when we read the word god actually is very happy jesus is very happy because why because we are saying uh, we're submitting our life we're submitting our will our, and we're surrendering to him so when he created us and he knows that we are praising him and we are for him and we are under him and in subjection in surrender he uh, it's it it glorifies god and then word shows us to live like Jesus. So isn't it, folks, because whenever we read the word, Christ is like this, you must do like, you know, how he did. Jesus wants us to live like that. There are many things. And also Deuteronomy says, you know, the do do's and don'ts of normal life, you know. If we do the right things, then we're going to be blessed. If we do the wrong things, you know, then they're going to be cursed. So it's like, you know, the word actually... Uh, uh, shows us and also it, it shows us to live like Jesus. Why? Because the word is Jesus, right? The word is God. The word is the Holy Spirit. So whatever God's characteristics are, when we read the word, we try automatically, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit transforms us to be like Jesus. And I wish, you know, everyone reads the word really this uh, I want to say that I feel like saying this now. I wish that every person, even, you know, the people who have wronged me and are wicked and are enemies to me and all that, I don't care. But, you know, I wish that they come to the word, they come in repentance before God, they come to know about Jesus and read the word so that can transform their lives and it can benefit them. Um, yeah, I felt like that to say. So... A word satisfies the soul. So when you read the word, it satisfies your soul. Nothing in the world can satisfy you, folks, because it's not the money, it's not the riches, it's not the lands or the homes or the clothes you wear or the food you eat and or anything. Because every time you eat something or you want something or you wear something, still you want something else. That means you're showing an unsatisfactory uh, emotion there, unsatisfactory life there. But it's not the case with word because it fully satisfies you to the uh, bones and to the marrow it says so word uh, satisfies the soul and then word causes us to pray why when we are in word you know when we read the word Jesus prayed Jesus being fully God and fully man on the earth he prayed he prayed every time he prayed uh, when he was teaching and preaching, he prayed when he was being uh, crucified on the cross. He was praying when uh, he was about to t be taken into custody by Pilate. He prayed when, uh, you know, the Pharisees and Sadducees and even his own people came again against him. So uh, 
it teaches us to pray and pray in the right way pray for the right things and also pray for the for others also because we are not just here on this earth to just pray for ourselves really this is one very big thing that i've seen in my life whenever i prayed for my mother for my aunts for my brother for everyone you know i got what i wanted in prayer for them really because i saw the miracles i saw how god moved mysteriously miraculously beautifully and uh, yeah and i got things in prayer and so b by the grace of god you know i i i feel uh i mean prayer is they say it's nothing but talking to god it's more than that it's talking to god and it's also receiving from god so and the 34th point 34 is word brings wisdom absolutely this is very true people you know uh who who don't read the word really don't have wisdom they will do all kinds of sin and uh, falls under the sky because they have not read the bible some people think oh it's just a religious book or some christians think oh it's just a religious book no it's not that it brings you wisdom because god is wisdom right in all wisdom he has created mankind in all wisdom he has flown his wisdom into the world so word brings wisdom and word is eternal and everlasting why because it will stay uh, the i don't remember the verse it says uh, heaven and earth may pass away but my word will not pass away so god is give, giving so much of concrete evidence and support and promise and assure and so much of assurance on the word saying that even you can think you know Uh, we said oh you know promise that it, this is going to happen so god is saying the same thing too heaven and earth may pass away but my word will not pass away so what does it mean that god will is not going to be distinguished he is going to exist as long as eternity is going to exist which is for ever and ever so let's take this um, very uh, seriously and i hope that everyone you know hearing uh, this message will read Uh, and i hope some who have read might have been um um encouraged so uh i uh yes yeah, so we need to read the word and word is something that it is um, very very uh miraculous and beautiful in its own way because literally the other thing is when we take the word when we take the bible in our hands you know if we have the holy spirit driving us then we feel as if we are like taking god in our hands like we are sitting with god like we are talking to god like we are uh, seeing god you know jesus so that's what the word does may the uh, may the lord bless this word thank you